In this experiment, we will explore if air is required for combustion. For this experiment, we require a glass, a candle that is shorter than the glass, a matchbox, a plate, and some water mixed with color like either potassium permanganate or ink or food color. Fix the candle in the center of the plate. Pour the colored water into the plate. The color will help you see the movement of water in this experiment. Light the candle and invert a glass over the candle. You will see that the candle extinguishes shortly after the glass is placed over it. And soon after that, the water from the plate gushes into the glass, rising up into the glass. Why does this happen? The candle flame uses the oxygen present in the air for combustion. When covered with a glass, only oxygen inside the glass is available for combustion. Once all the oxygen inside the glass is consumed, the flame extinguishes. When the flame is glowing, the air around the flame has expanded due to the heat from the flame. Once the flame is extinguished, the temperature inside the glass goes down and the expanded air inside the glass contracts, occupying lesser space than before. This creates a low pressure inside the glass. This low pressure pulls the water from outside where the normal atmospheric pressure is relatively higher than the pressure inside the glass. This causes the water to gush in from underneath the glass into it.